When you bite into an apple, do you ever wonder where it comes from? Has it been on a voyage around the world? Has it been on a cross-country journey? Or was it a much shorter trip? When a family farm is passed down from generation to generation, not only is it land that changes hands, but an ideal, an ethos, a dedication, a way of life. People would come to Newport County because it's a tourist area, and they would actually come to the farms because they wanted to do something different. And I began to realize that this was a, an activity that people really enjoyed doing. So There's nothing like it on a fall day to be out uh, in the apple orchards around Rhode Island. When I deliver apples, most of my customers are getting an apple that is two days or less old. Most of the apples that you buy in the market can be six months, one year, or older. The family farm, as American as apple pie. I'm the sixth generation living on the farm. My son is the seventh. We have a million people in Rhode Island, and if we were all eating Rhode Island-grown produce, uh, and not just produce, you know, meat products as well, we would be supporting a lot more farms. Vanishing Orchards, a film about the past, present, and future of Rhode Island's apple-growing culture, as told by the generations of apple growers. Apple picking in Rhode Island is just something that people love, you know, it's about getting out with your family in the fall, it's a beautiful time of year, you're getting something healthy. Appreciate your local farmer and appreciate the fact that we have at our fingertips readily available, nutritious and affordable food. Vanishing Orchards, a documentary film by Rocco Michael Luck. 10 years in the making, premiering summer 2013.